Okay. We're here at CB 2009 at the IBM. Yeah. And uh, who are you? What do you what okay. do you work on? So a new topic from IBM on this fair is that we have uh, cloud computing, which we present here in this nice showcase. Uh, this is maybe the nicest showcase in the CBIT. Right, I think it's uh, most uh, most of the pictures out of the CBIT are taken from this nice model, where each of these uh, colored balls are representing uh, one computer in our data center. And the idea is not to have for each uh, service that we provide to the customer a dedicated server, like we did it in the past, and we rolled in more and more servers. Instead of this, we just get a more precise picture of our existing hardware, and we are combining the workload and consolidate the workload on this IT hardware resource pool to offer the, the same best services to our customers with, with our still existing hardware. That gives us more flexibility and saves costs at the end of the day and our customers are getting more and more benefit out of it because we can offer the, the same services at a less price. So that's the idea. So cloud is a big, uh, in, in big future investment, big investment for IBM. It's a big investment for IBM, and IBM comes in very different uh, flavors in this topic. We are starting with a high virtualized hardware. Uh, IBM offers um, different hardware architectures that can be highly virtualized. We offer the software that enables and allows to implement such a cloud. Uh, for example, with uh, Tivoli software, we have an automation service automation manager where we can implement such a cloud. But also, IBM offers services by itself with a subsidiary out of IBM, the Lotus company, maybe known from Lotus Notes. There we offer a cloud service that the customers can request a service from Lotus. So they don't have to buy servers from you? They just buy uh, processing time? Uh, right, exactly. a bandwidth service. And stuff like that? They're just buying and... an, a service, an yeah. IT service. And they, and they can, and we host, or IBM, yeah. hosts the hardware, manage, makes the operation of the data center, yeah. and the customer just pays yeah. for the service they get. So you're going to open a site called like uh, ibmsupercomputer.com and everybody can come and use it? Or how is the supercomputer compared to the IBM uh, processing power? Should we go look at the screen or, or uh, somebody said by the screen? But, but you have some processing units, like a strategy. It could be any kind of processor, right? Yeah, so we are not... Uh, we do not require one specific hardware architecture. We are having an open architecture and we just can use the architecture that is today in the data center and we can build on top of that. You can use 100% of it. You, you're very we good can, at using the full We can using power. the 100% of it and yeah. the idea is to consolidate the workload to a small amount of, of servers to, to make more space free for new services that we can offer in the yeah. future. And we are getting more and more dynamic and flexible to the demand of our customers. All right. So yeah. can you just explain a little bit how IBM's Cloud Vision differs or uh, supplements uh, Google, Microsoft, and yeah. what's going on in that so, space? Yeah. So in that space, most of talking about cloud is interpreted as an open cloud. So there, the, the internet and the security must be, you have to look very precise if your requirements to the security is really fulfilled in such a cloud. Uh, some applications will not be, be well hosted in such an environment because they are sensitive because of the data security and so, and they want to be, the, the, the customer wants to have it run in a private cloud, in the same existing environment behind the firewall in a very secure environment. And, but cloud computing offers both, and IBM also offers both, and also a combination out of both. Then it's a, it's a, it's a mixed cloud. So you, tell you can combine the data sensitive applications in a private cloud environment and uh, publish uh, uh, the IT services that are less secure, the less uh, security demanding in a public cloud. 
No, both is possible. So you, in some way, all the private, uh, the public stuff, uh, you can, you have to re-engineer the whole, the whole world's data center somehow. Yeah, that's so, what's going on. The big yeah, shift now. Yeah, it's a big shift, but it's a. It's a step-by-step step refining and there is a life cycle management. We start from the status quo like we find it in the data center today, yeah. but then from there we start to measure and to collect and to, to measure the utilization and the power consumption of all these servers and then we start to consolidate on the existing capa capa uh, capa capacity and capabilities of the hardware platform uh, regarding uh, virtualization and from there for new investments we will to have to keep an eye on it that this investment uh, will also be good for our cloud that we build up and we get a more and more precise picture what are the really the services that we have to uh, that we have agreed to our customers and we are starting to to, to redefine in a, in a circle uh, step by step to get a more efficient data center, step by step. But you, uh, IBM is not really uh, working on the thin client side for the consumer, or not really? Uh, thin client virtualization is also a topic, yeah. and IBM also has some offerings uh, from IBM services in this area. Are very cheap? Uh, yes, we, we have some hardware partners, so yeah. all the thin clients are not manufactured by IBM itself. Yeah. But from an IBM service, we cooperate with some partners who offer this uh, thin client technology and uh, where we can have Citrix farms and so on. And that's also interesting for a lot of our customers, also because of security reasons, because they don't want to have their drawings out of the company also, or they don't want to have that the employees uh, can take the drawings away. Yeah? Okay. These are some... But, uh, thanks a lot. Yes. Thank okay. You. So you're